The best tips to quitting weed. If you are wanting to quit smoking marijuana, it's a good idea to surround yourself with a wide support network. In times of withdrawal and craving, having safe and healthy people around you can serve as a way to protect you against relapse. Here are some of our suggestions. Make a plan. Having a clear goal in mind can help a person who is trying to quit drugs stay on track. By yourself or with your support system, make a plan for how you'll quit marijuana and remain sober. Get rid of marijuana-related paraphernalia. When quitting marijuana, it's a good idea to get rid of your paraphernalia associated with smoking, such as bongs, pipes, bowls, and vapes. Identify triggers and strategize how to deal with them. Your personal triggers for wanting to use marijuana may differ from someone else's. It is necessary that you figure out what are your pressure points and strategize ways to cope with them in a healthy way. Build a strong support network. Like we said in the beginning of the video, when it comes to getting sober, it's crucial to surround yourself with healthy and supportive people who want to help you stay on track with your decision. Building a strong support network will help you quit marijuana and provide you with the vital, healthy connections one needs to stay sober. Find a weed replacement. Marijuana users may find it easier to quit if they find a more holistic replacement when cravings occur. Physical activities like yoga or working out or finding new hobbies to cope will help. Taper usage instead of going cold turkey. Going cold turkey frequently produces more intense withdrawal symptoms. Creating a tapering schedule with an addiction professional can be a good alternative to going cold turkey. What I would say is lifestyle. I would say, you know, sauna, because that creates a parasympathetic effect that can just make you feel better five to 10 minutes in the sauna or the hot tub daily. I would say plenty of sleep, really trying to prioritize sleep get good sleep hygiene, you know, go to bed early, exercise, 100% the best medicine, vitamin D, sun, if it's that time of year, social connectivity, being around your friends and laughing, meditation to give you more parasympathetic impact. That's what I would do. Stay away from Kratom. That's not the thing to withdraw management your way away from uh, marijuana. That is, that is absolutely going to create a worse physical dependence called basically, you know, opioid use disorder, which it's gonna look like and feel like. So with lifestyle, I would try to maximize how good you feel. Of course, if you got migraine, headache, stuff like that, Tylenol and Advil, stay plenty hydrated and lifestyle your way out of THC withdrawal if you experience those. That's what I got for you.